What's up, guys? Wesley S. May here, and in today's video, we're gonna be uh, show. I'm gonna be showing you some the new 1.19's wild update experiment. So this is like Frog February, which is double F. It makes sense. So the, the, the uh, just I just want to let you guys know a reminder or disclaimer. Um, the, the wild update did not came out yet. This is just an experiment on. This is just an experiment on the wild update. So I'll show you. So when we go to settings, I will. Um, it says this 1.19 wild update experiments. And basically, I just did this experiment. Try out these features that are under development. Cannot be turned off after world creation. So I just turned on the wild update experiment. So this is what if you want to play wild update earlier. But the reminder, if you use that experiment, that means you cannot, that this world will never be able to get future updates again. So I'm going to start talking about it. So let's go first person view and let's start. So... And the new 1.19 wild update we have is this. I'm going to go on to you. I, look, Iron. So, Iron Golems will now have the crack scene when attacked, like this. So, there's a scene in 1.19. When I build an Iron Golem, look, look. When I hit it with my Nezerite sword, you can, as you guys can see, look. The Iron Golem has cracked scenes. It's a cracked Iron Golem. This is a new feature. I know what you're gonna say, Java players. You're like, Wesley S. May. We have this. We already had this feature for like three years. But that was for that. This is for Bedrock players. So let's just let Bedrock enjoy players enjoy this crack scene feature. Okay. I know Java players already had that feature like three years ago in the Buzzy Bee update. It was a feature in Buzzy Bee update. So in order to repair it, you can use the iron the iron ingots like this. One, in two, three, and it's back to normal. Or this is my question: Can you use splash potions while attacking it? Let's see. Ready? All right. Can you heal them with splash potions? You can. You can use, so now you can use two scenes, iron ingots or splash potions. So I will show you the tier. This right here is a fully grown iron golem. So I'm gonna make another one. Ready? I'm gonna hit it a couple times. One, two, three. This is half cracked. Alright, making another one. One, two, three, four, five, six. Now it's kind of cracked, and now I'm going to make another one. So, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Now this, this is the last iron golem. It's fully cracked. Look at it. This iron golem is fully cracked. This one right here is... It, it's kind It's slightly... It's kind of, it's kind, kind of fully cracked. I'm going to call it... This one is slightly cracked. While this one is a fully grown iron golem with no cracks. And you can repair them with this. Iron ingots, like I showed you earlier. Or healing potions, like this. I, I recommend you use... I, I recommend when, you, when you're going to heal iron golems, you, I recommend using iron ingots because splash potions of healing is very hard to find. So use this because iron ingots are easier to find in, in survival Minecraft. So that was the feature of the Crack Iron Golem. We had Java players already had it. Let's just let Bedrock players enjoy. Next one, the next feature they added is this. They added another feature called Frogs, which is this. Frog. Oh, no, that's not how we spell. Frog. No, not foot. Yup, here it is. Frogs. They added a new mob called the Frogs, which looks like this. This... It's going to come in with a fully wild update, okay? So, this one, can this frog can is usually spawns in the mangrove swamp biome, or regular swamp. And, guess what? This one can actually be breedable with seagrass, which is the seagrass. Oh my god, I am actually... Seagrass. So, you guys just saw a little face reveal, but I didn't show you yet. So, look. Seagrass. You can breed them with seagrass. Once you breed them with seagrass, they, they won't make another frog. So I'll show you when I go in the uh, water, which is this. So, look. Breed. Breed 
once you breed them, they will kiss. They will kiss each other in the mouth. And then, look at this. The frog is going to go in the water. And guess what will happen? Look, we got frog eggs. And guess what? Not just we got frogs, we also get a frog that usually start as, start as when they're born, which are tadpoles. We also can get tadpoles, which looks like this. This is what a tadpole looks like, okay, in Minecraft. And and you but and if you're gonna breed frogs, you have to be care you have to be careful because axolotls can actually kill tadpoles. So when so stay so keep your tadpoles away from axolotls, okay? If you're gonna breed frogs, okay? So so um I'm gonna now I'm gonna be showing whoa the tadpole egg just cracked. Axel, stay away from the tadpoles. All right, thank you. All right, guys, I'll show you. You can, and also you can use this frog egg to place it everywhere, right here. Like you can make like an entire army of frog of tadpoles. Like you can do this. All right, good. Once and you can just wait until they hatch. And you can, if you want them to hatch quicker, do the random tick speed. 999. Nine, nine. And watch them all crack into this. And it's very slow. You need to change it back. Reset it. And boom. Look at all these tadpoles. And then you have all tadpoles. And a fun fact, a tadpole will actually grow up into a regular frog if you just feed them seagrass. It will take some time, but if you want them to fully grow like this... You need to feed them seagrass. All right. Feed, feed. You can feed them seagrass. Oh, my God. All right, there we go. This one's now a fully grown frog. We can make them breed once again. Look, they're kissing. Once they are fully breed, they will swim up to the surface and then lay their... Their frog egg, which is the tadpole egg. Are you good there, my? Are you good there? You good? You good? You good? Oh, yep, there we go. There's a frog egg. There's tadpoles now. All right. And also, it's getting nighttime, so I'm going to change it to day. So, if you want to breed frogs, try to find a closest water. And not just we got this. We also got a new thing called a bucket of tadpole. This is a tadpole. Right here. I'm going to show you. This is a tad bucket of tadpole. Looks cool. You good there, my bro? Uh-huh. It's, it's good. And you have, and fun fact, if you get like a sponge, which is this thing. Look, th this is what tadpole looks like on land. Like I can sponge some on land if you want to. So, these are the tadpoles when they sink their on land. They're like, oh god, oh god, this is bullshit, this is crap. I need to go find water as soon as possible, ASAP, before I die. See, this is what a tadpole lo is like when they're out of water. They're like, they're sinking like, I need to get, I need to get water as fast, I need to go in a, a pool of water as fast as possible before I die. Yeah. ASAP, as soon as possible. And there's a meme you can do. Back, did you know that there was a setting, like, a lot, I saw a lot of YouTubers using the setting where frogs can eat every scene in the game, including the player. But this is a meme. You, so, axolotls, you cannot defeat me. Tadpoles, I know, but my big brother can. Frog. So, that was it. And fun fact, I need to tell you a scene. Frogs can eat, actually eat slimes. Can eat this scene. Slimes. They can eat small slimes. They don't eat the big ones and they don't eat the medium ones. See? They don't eat the medium ones. They only eat the small ones. Like I can give you some. And they drop slime balls when they get killed. So frogs only eat the small slimes. They don't eat the big ones or the medium ones. See, look. They leave the big one they leave these two alone, but they only attack. They only go for the small slimes. They only go for the small ones. Alright, we can make we can kill these. And get and, and I'll give you as much small slimes as possible. Alright? And we can spawn more. This is an army of frogs. See? The frogs the frog can only eat small slimes. They don't eat the big ones or the medium ones. And also, not just they can eat slimes, they can also eat magma cubes, which is this thing. This 
So frogs, again, only eat the small, the small magma cubes and slimes. They don't eat the medium ones, and they don't eat the big ones. They don't see. Look, they can also eat magma cubes. Once a magma cube gets eaten, they drop this thing called. They dropped orchid fog light. They drop fog light. There are three different types of fog lights. We have pearl. We have this pearl scented fog light, the purple one. We have vandent fog light and urchu. And what's this orchid fog light? You know what? We have the we so we have the purple fog light, the green fog light. And the uh, orange fog light, and you can give them a like a light a light level. So you can put one right here, and you can do time set night time set. You can do time set midnight. Okay, midnight. So this is how much space does a right one orchid light go? So I'm gonna go do underwater. Okay, this is how much space they the purple fog light takes up. This is the green one. They, and I can't spot a difference. They always they look like the same, in my opinion. And uh, and the uh, what is it called? O orange or yellow one? Orange one. They, to be honest, fog lights are just for decoration or for light source. They literally look the same. So which one do you, which fog light do you like the, the best? Do you like the purple one? Do you like the green one or the orange one? I can't really say these words, and I don't know how to say. It, so you can just uh, call them the fog light. Light. So. That was fog light. And fun fact, guys, I need to tell you a thing. There is no, I don't see any of uh, what is it called. There's no boat with chest. There's no mangrove wood. And there's no warden. And there's even some of these things called the the skulk. We even got some skulk. So right here we have is the skulk. Here's the skulk vein. This is the skulk catalyst. catalyst. We have the Skulk Shrieker. Look, it's very creepy, ghost. And the Skulk Sensor. So, Skulk Sensors are like wireless redstone. They're meant to be wireless redstone. And if you make a signal move, you will trigger it, okay? The Skulk Shrieker. Ooh, very creepy. It usually gives you blindness. So, the war. The, yo. Dark, you get dark. So, dark, you get darkness when you stand on Skulk Shriekers. So, so try to avoid the skulk. And there's no warden. So there's no warden yet. So look. When I search it, it up, it says this. War. See? No warden. Warden. No warden. I don't see any warden. So there's no warden. And also not... And the frogs don't just spawn in the uh, orange type. They actually spawn in two other types that I'll show you right now. So um, let's uh quit this ward. They actually... So if they spawn... In the desert biome, I'll show you what happens if they spawn in a desert biome. Okay? They don't just spawn as a orange type. They actually spawn in two other types. I'll show you. Alright, this, this takes sometimes a long time. So, I'll show you. So, um, they actually spawn in a different type. They spawn... Oh my god. Yup, here we go. They actually spawn in a different type. They So, if they spawn in a desert biome, this is what they will look like. They will look like this white tannish color. This white gray color. So, this is what frogs will look like if they spawn in a desert biome. So, you can make... So, again, you can make the frogs breed using seagrass. Just like how you do your sea turtles. So, fun fact, frogs are just acting like sea turtles in Minecraft. So, in 1.13, the aquatic update, we had the, uh, we had turtle eggs. Now we have the frog egg. So, I'll show you, um, where's the seagrass? Oh, I think we have to go to coral decorations. Alright, so, when I give them, like, when I give them seagrass, they eat it. Now they will kiss and breed. Once they kiss and breed, they one of them will go quickly near the water and plant the tad the frog eggs, which is this scene I'm showing you. So, ready? He didn't plant. You know what, guys? Let's just say he plant, and they will plant this scene. They will put down this scene. So, um, I will do it again. So, you again, you can just put down as much frog eggs as part you want. Okay, so 
they will spawn like this. And then, again, you can feed them seagrass. They'll kiss. Now they're just going to plant the frog eggs. Yep, right here. So that was, so this is what they're going to look like. And so this is what frogs look like in the uh, desert biome. Now I'm going to be uh, showing you what they look like in the uh, this is story biome. Whoa, the tadpoles just, uh, yo, tadpoles hatch very fast. So, uh, so I'll show you how much the, the tadpoles spawn when they get hatched later on, okay? So um, let's go to the uh, the snowy biome. Let's go to the uh, snowy biome, and I'll show you what frogs look like in the snowy biome. Okay. Oh, I have to hurry up because screen recording time might turn off any minute. Hurry up. All right, hurry up. My screen recording time will turn off any minute. My Come on, Minecraft, hurry up. Hurry up. Oh my god, this is annoying. This is annoying. This is so annoying. Hurry up, Minecraft. My screen recording time will turn off. Oh my god, this is, I hate this. Um. Oh. Alright, there we go. I'm here. So, we're in the snowy biome right now. So, um, this is the snowy biome. So, I'm going to, uh, show you what frogs look like in the snowy biome. So, we can destroy some ice real quick. Alright, and, and this is what frogs look like in the snowy biome real quick. So, when I get the frog egg... See, they, they they appear green in the snowy biome. This is what frogs look like in the snowy biome. Again, you can use the uh, seagrass to breed, feed them, and then they will breed, and then kiss, and then get the frog eggs. Okay? I'm destroying ice just so... See, look. The frog finds water and lays the eggs. Okay? That So, this is what... So, um, this is what frogs look like in the uh, snowy biome. They appear green. Uh, these are the, uh, this is what the uh, unspeakable frogs will look like. If I was, if Minecraft mobs were YouTubers. Alright, so that was the, that was me, that was the, the frogs in the snowy biome. Now I'm gonna go back to my, uh, what is it called? Uh, the original ward, okay? My, alright, I have to, alright, this ha have to be hurry up and be quick, okay? Because screen recording time can turn off any minute. Always I'm just gonna... All right, I'm back in the, reg the regular ward. Okay, so that was the uh, frogs. I'm gonna, now I'm gonna be showing you what to, how many tadpoles one one frog egg gets. Okay, so I'm just gonna put one right here, and now I'm gonna do tick speed. I'm gonna do my, I'm gonna try my best and turn on and do the tick speed. Okay, random tick speed will be nine nine nine. Okay, and then we reset it. Okay, so, um, hello, are you good? Oh, wait, reset, reset. All right, so basically, one frog egg probably gives you probably like four tadpoles, if I'm not mistaken, like four. They get like four tadpoles in one frog egg. So, yep, that was the uh, me showing you how many tadpoles get when one frog I gets. So, um, yep, guys, I think I'm going to end the video right here, okay? So, um, yep, thank you for watching this uh, 1.19 Wild Update experiment.
Well, thank you for watching this 1.19 update experiment. I forgot to say something in the beginning of the, the video. A huge amount. Please, 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 please like and subscribe to my YouTube channel immediately. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram. Right now, a huge amount of people like this. Huge amount of people are not are not subscribed to my YouTube channel. Please. What in the world are you thinking? Please subscribe with notifications on. It's free. 100% free. And it helps my channel out. Okay? And I hope you have... A great day. So, um, bye. And have a great rest of your day. So, done.